Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in it. Dear Mama me, <laughs> in your last letter, you ask what's making me happiness in my new country, America. Well, there's lots of things, but I think for me, best part is when I'm going to close up my little antique shop every night and go to my night to school class and I see my teacher, Miss Spalding. It's the most wonderful combination, Mamma Mia. American education and a beautiful teacher. <laughs> oh, she's uh, so beautiful. Her blue eyes are like the sea, blonde hair, pearly white teeth. And when she tell the class, pay attention to me, she's uh, never gonna ask her twice. <laughs> We learn so much in a school. There's a talk about a politics, a taxes, a coal war, a hot war, a boundary lines, Europe, Asia, and a current events. This is where the class is to take ten minutes and figure out what's wrong with the world. <laughs> then we figure out how to fix it up. That's to take a little longer. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> then we study a little subject like spelling, which is to show us how stupid we are and that we didn't know what we were talking in the first place. <laughs> it is nice to go to school. And I think everybody in America likes it, especially little kids. Only yesterday, I heard some little boy say, Hey, Joe, don't you wish it was a summer? You see, Mamma Mia, it's now October, and those kids, they can hardly wait to start their summer school. <laughs> <laughs> Only person I know who don't like school is my countryman, Pasquale. Poor Pasquale. He's 25 years in America, and the only thing he can read is his menu. And that's only because he wrote it. <laughs> and nobody else can read it. Always I would tell him, Pasquale, school is a good thing. You should go there and learn a few things. And always, uh, Pasquale is uh, answer me. Shut up, you big trap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Pasquale... Keep quiet. Can you see I'm trying to add up these numbers out of my bank statement? Let me see. Three, seven, fifteen, thirty-four. Shove it down to four. Take the three upstairs. <laughs> Check them up. Uh-huh. Does it come out at $285.76? Check them up, and how does it come at $285.76? Pasquale, what the kind of school do you learn to figure in like that? The UPS is a mean a public school. To me, it's a mean a Pasquale. <laughs> My own school. What's the difference of how I figure? The bank is always right anyway. I just like them to know I'm watching them so they don't take any chances. <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale, wouldn't it be better if you went to school and really learned the arithmetic? Oh, sure, then I really go crazy. Statement that comes in and I start to figure. I'm a short penny. Takes me all the day to find that penny. Luigi, who's the smarter? The smarter guy was a figuring all day, or Pasquale was a taking a nap? <laughs> yeah, but in the school you learn lots of things. Look, a little banana nose. <laughs> Best way to learn is from experiences. All right, Pasquale. From your experiences, who would you say was the first president of America? Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Wrong, it was a George Washington. Luigi, was you there when it happened? No. Then it's your word against the mine. <laughs> Don't tell me what's right and wrong, Mr. Education. I know more in my big head than you got in your little pinky. Papa! Papa! <laughs> what 
do you want? Look at all the mistakes you made on the menu today. Well, let me see. Now, give me those. I'm going to look. Never mind that. <laughs> Pascal, look. Look at how you spell a spaghetti. You left out the H. Spaghetti? Has it got an H in it? Sure. Has it got an H on it? You don't hear it. When somebody eats a spaghetti in my restaurant, you hear everything. <laughs> Rosa, take the menu and put it back on the table just the way it is. All right, Papa. You see, Pasquale, you see, how you think, how you think it's going to look to the customers when they read the menu and everything is spelled wrong? Luigi, my customers don't get indigestion from the spelling. They get it from the food. <laughs> ah, no, come and get tired of hearing you talk so much about education. Then, then why are you going to come with, with me tonight to my class, huh, Pasquale? Because I do want to show you how stupid you are. I ain't to go. That's another thing you would learn. You never say ain't. What? If I ain't got something, how you, how you going to know I ain't got it unless I say I ain't got it? And Pasquale, the correct grammar is I haven't got it. Who listen to who's talking to King the George? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to say I don't got it. Haven't got it. Haven't got it. Good. All right. And now that I'm a donor, haven't got it, when am I going to get it? Get what? What I didn't have it before. But Squire, saying it, it doesn't get it. All right, then I ain't got it. Mamma mia. Ah, come on, come to school with me, just the one. Never. I'm going to let you sit right next to my teacher, Miss Spalding. Never. Oh, you should see how beautiful she is. Never. The most beautiful girl you ever saw. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Never, never, never. <laughs> Really All right, class, you'll come to attention, please. Well, I see we have a visitor. Hello, Mr. Pasquale. How do you do, Mrs. Spaldy? Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Yeah. Mr. Olson? Hey, yeah. Mr. Schultz? What's the difference? <laughs> Why, Mr. Schultz, what do you mean by that remark? I see Pasquale is here in school tonight, and that weakens my whole faith in American education. Oh, is that a saw, Mr. Delicatessen, a man? Yeah, that's all, you spaghetti salesman. <laughs> please, gentlemen, please. Now, please, please, Miss Balding. Miss Balding, was it my idea, so I'm, I'm better explain. I'm a brother Pasquale with me tonight, so he could see what we do in school. Why, I think that's a splendid idea. Welcome to our little class, Mr. Pasquale. Thank you, Mrs. Balding. Uh, don't be nervous, everybody, because I'm here. As far as you are concerned, uh, I'm just an uh, impartial observatory. <laughs> observatory? Pasquale, did you say observatory? That's the matter, Schultz. You never heard of such a big a 35 cent a word before? <laughs> Miss Baldwin, tell me quick. Is his ignorance contagious? Pasquale, I hate to butt him, but when you're wrong, you should admit. Observatory was not the right word. Yo ho, an observatory is a place where you go to see the stars. <laughs> oh, yes? Then what's the movies for? <laughs> Miss Barking, chase him out before he gets us all for shivers. <laughs> now, shut, 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 no, please. Now, class, you're not being polite to our guests. Mr. Pasquale, I hope you'll excuse them. They meant no harm. That's all right, Mrs. Spalding. As a taxpayer, I'm a paying for these fellas' education. <laughs> And if they don't behave, next the year they can all sit at home. Why couldn't I have fallen into an open manhole on my way to school? Uh, uh, let's get on with our lesson, class. Uh, your assignment for today was civics. Mr. Basco, you may tell us some of the powers of the federal government. All right. Federal government is allowed to regulate the commerce, take charge of foreign affairs, take in new states... Print up the money. Print up the money. Luigi, even a doper knows that the bank makes it the money. <laughs> now, for you using your play in a common sense, which you ain't got it like I got... Mr. Pasquale, then... Mr. Pasquale, Mr. Basco was correct. Uh, the government prints the money? That's right. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's the way I meant it. I, I told her. I, I mean... Pasquale, uh, what size dunce cap do you take? <laughs> <laughs> now, class, please. Let's not be too critical of Mr. Pasquale. After all, he, he should have more sense than to try and correct Luigi. No. Don't talk so big, Schultz. Anything Luigi learns is from a box. What he's learned in two years from the box 
I could have learned in a one a week. What? But, Squire, that's not the truth. In the first place, education... In the first place, the education is a big fake. Listen, Luigi, I bet you anything you want that in one week... I can learn more education than you did in two years. All right, then. How much do you want to bet? Now, please, gentlemen, no, no, let, 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 uh, let them talk, Miss Marty. Very much, Marty, put up the money or shut up. What are you talking about? The Luigi's not got no money. But I'm going to make him bet just to make him the laugh of the stock of the neighborhood. How are you going to do this, Pasquale? I'm going to take a home with the school of books. I'm going to read them. Next week, this time, Miss Spaulding gives us both the test. If you lose Luigi, you don't have to pay me no money. What then I'm going to pay you? Nothing much. All you got to do is wash the dishes in my restaurant for six months. Oh. <laughs> and what if I'm a winner? Which won't happen. But if you do, I give you the dishwasher in my restaurant, and you're never going to have to wash the dishes again. What do you say? Take his bluff, Luigi. Yo, oh, he deserves to lose his dishwasher by Yemeni. <laughs> Ooh, but I like to see him with dishpan hands to match his dishpan face. <laughs> hey, Miss Spalding. Hey, Miss Spalding, what do you think? Well, uh, all right. Here are the school books, Mr. Pasquale. A week from tonight, you'll both take a test, which I shall prepare. I wait to wait. The Luigi didn't say yes yet. Come back, Scotty. You better say goodbye to your dishwasher. Oh, yes. Well, listen to me, Mr. Know-it-all. I'm going to make you look so stupid next week. Don't be surprised if they deport you back to the kindergarten. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, I'd like to drop in a word about delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. You know, folks, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is one taste treat you can enjoy almost any time and anywhere. Whether you're indoors or outdoors, working, sitting in a movie, or at your radio or television set, you can slip a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint into your mouth and enjoy some pleasant chewing. The flavor is refreshing, and the chewing adds a bit of extra enjoyment to whatever you're doing. So keep a package of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum handy all the time. It's an enjoyable treat you can carry right with you. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Hello, Mamma Mia. Pasquale's got five more days to study and prove that he can learn in one week what I'm learning in two years. Poor Pasquale. I'm worried about him. He's trying to push so much stuff in his head I think he's going to bust. <laughs> Yesterday I was getting a thread for him. So I walked over while he was reading a book and I said, Pasquale, you want me to help you? And he just said, I don't need your help. Yeah, but maybe we're going to study together, huh, Pasquale? You know what they say. Two heads is better than one. Then come back when you got two heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you know it's impossible you should learn it so quick. What does it take me so long to learn? That's the way you're going to find out a different. Luigi, I might not know Einstein and his relatives. <laughs> but you're soon going to see. You find out that Pasquale's got a head that can soak up information like a sponge. That's right, Pasquale. I'm agree with you. You're the biggest sponge head I'm a know. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm a saying it's a come out of different. <laughs> Look, Luigi, if you come in here to beg me, I should call off this test. You wasted your time. Because the next week you're going to be in my kitchen washing my dishes. All right, Pasquale. If that's the way you feel, I'm going to be happy to take away your dishwasher. Poor Pasquale is the one thing. I'm, I'm a hate to make him look like a fool. Luigi, my fellow Hoover, we was waiting for you. Yo, oh, we thought we could help you review some general knowledge. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Schultz and Olsen, but, yeah. but I'm, I'm gonna really need it. 
Is it Pasquale? Who... Luigi, quick. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? 1776. Yeah, when was it the Revolutionary War? 1775. Yeah, the Civil War. 1861 to 65. <laughs> hey, um, am I right, Schulze? How should I know? Ask Olsen. <laughs> Your day was perfect, Luigi. You don't have to study much to beat Pasquale. Oh, yeah. Hello, boys. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Say, I just passed Pasquale's store and guess what? Don't tell me Pasquale's brain exploded. No, no. I saw somebody walking in there and I think Pasquale hired himself a tutor. <gasps> A daughter? Yeah. Luigi, did you hear that? Uh huh. But Olsen, did you hear that? Pasquale hired himself a daughter. Yo ho. <laughs> Horrible, what's a daughter? <laughs> a daughter's like a public school teacher, only it's private. Oh, that scheming Pasquale. He couldn't get anything into his head by himself, so he got somebody else to bush it in. <laughs> yeah, who, who's who's it gonna teach him, Horowitz? Luigi. You know that smart little kid, Richard? You know, the one with the horn-rimmed glasses? Uh -huh. Oh, Joe, he's a real intelligent yeah. boy. But you, you think Richard could teach Pasquale enough so, so he should win? No, no, of course not. Still, I don't like it. Those modern kids today, who knows what they could do? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Into my head, an idea just pooped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to fix that Pasquale gut. Now, please, Schultz, I'm gonna do nothing against the Pasquale. I'm gonna wanna win the fair and cross, Luigi. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm gonna see you all later. Um, goodbye. Come here. Come over here. Look through the window. Pasquale is sitting by the front table in his restroom. Yeah. And that that kid Richard. He's got a book. Please, please, Mr. Pasquale, try to concentrate and remember. And don't give me common sense. Give me the facts. Look, Richard, I'm paying you to be my tutor. Now, don't be so smart. Just a toot. <laughs> yes, sir. What year was the Spanish Armada? Ah, uh, Spanish Armada. Let me see. That was, uh, uh, uh... That was way before your time, Richard. Uh, yes, it was. Then why do you want to find out? The Spanish Armada was in 1588, Mr. Pasquale. Philip II of Spain sent 132 ships and 33,000 soldiers to England, but they were all destroyed by Drake's attacks and by storms. You know something, my kid? I could make a fortune with you on quiz programs. <laughs> uh, what's the use? I'm never going to be able to learn all this stuff in one week. Uh, just a minute, Richard. I get the telephone. Hello? Pasquale's the Spaghetti Palace is speaking. Mr. Pasquale, this is Richard's mother, Mrs. Lewis. Would you please send my Richard home? Huh? Uh, Mrs. Lewis, uh, you happen to know what year was the Spanish Armada? Yes, 1588. Mrs. Lewis, you smart enough. You don't need Rich at home. I keep him here. <laughs> He's got to have his supper, Mr. Pasquale. All right. All right. I, I said to him. Go home. Go out home for your supper, Richard. Don't forget to come right back. Okay, Mr. Pasquale. In here. Have a piece of fruit. Gee, Mr. Pasquale, don't you have anything else besides a raisin? <laughs> Besides, I'm paying you ten cents an hour. What's the kids are coming to anyway? Sure, well, you and Horowitz, Luigi, he just can't lose. I, I asked him a hundred questions, and he got them all right. Good, good. I would love to see him really beat that Pasquale. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait for me. <laughs> My breath is coming in short pants. <laughs> oh. oh, did I do it? Am I a genius? What did you do, Schultz? Oh, I fixed up Pasquale's tutor, so he ain't gonna toot no more. <laughs> Schultz, you, you, you didn't hurt that little boy, did you? Oh, son. What are you talking about? Me hurt that little fellow. I, I got three of my own. Oh, no, Richard. Richard, I I killed with kindness. What <laughs> did you do, Joe? Well, I sent him to the movies, and I gave him five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah. I figured that's going to keep him there at least for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Schultz, is that fair? Ah, why not? You want Luigi should be washing Pasquale's dishes for six months? No, no. <laughs> but we'd better not tell Luigi about this. Yeah. Sure, he wouldn't like it, but I, I'm all for it. Well, that's no. all I want to hear. Good. <laughs> all right, now kick in. 
What? what? For sure, I laid out five dollars at a dollar seventy-five cents a piece. <laughs> So, they think they put over a fast one on me with that kid, eh? Well, I showed them. When I tell them to spoil them, we see if they have a respect for Pasquale, the school pigeon. Uh, <laughs> uh, here it is. There's the classroom. Uh, I'm early. Is there nobody here? Well, I'm going to sit down and wait. Uh, might it be a better idea if I just write a note and tell her everything. Then I don't have no arguments with the class. Where's some paper? Must be inside a desk. Ah, there's a paper. Hey, what's this? Examination of test for Mr. Bosco and Mr. Pasquale. Hmm. <laughs> what an idea. Looks like I don't have to write in no letter. First the question. When did a collapse? Answer, 1492. Second a question. Queen, uh, time to call the answer, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm just going to copy down the answers. Let Luigi study up on the questions. <laughs> Third answer, 49, including the Philippines. Fourth answer, keep... Quite a bit of excitement in your classroom, Miss Balding. I... Just passed by there. Yes, we're having a contest. Would you like to come in, Mr. Orr? Uh, no, thank you. I uh, find the class freezes in front of the principal. <laughs> Though I don't know why. I'm as bad on dates as anyone. <laughs> Is uh, that the uh, test in your hand? Why, yes, I just finished it, as a matter of fact. Just now? Yes, I had one made up, but it seemed to me someone had tampered with it. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I just wanted to be sure, so I changed the question. <laughs> Well, you can't tell. Someone might be surprised. Bye. Bye, Miss Joy. Well, well, hello. I see we're all here, so I'll dispense with the roll call and go right to the test. Are you both ready? I'm ready, Miss Bunny. And uh, you, Mr. Pasquale? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spoken like a true jackass, Pasquale. <laughs> Go ahead. Call me names. We see who last laughs. <laughs> Miss Spalding, if you don't mind, my head is so full of information, I'd like to get it out fast. Why don't you ask me the first of five questions? I polish them off, and then you ask Luigi five. That's all right, the me, Miss Spalding. Fine, fine. Then I'll proceed. First question. When did the Civil War begin? First answer, 1492. <laughs> We didn't even have to spend that five dollars. <laughs> Mr. Pasquale, question number two. Who was the first president of the United States? Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> How many children did Abraham Lincoln have? Forty-nine, including the Philippines. <laughs> What did Columbus say when he took possession of America? Keep a cool with a coolage. <laughs> now, Miss Bolling, Miss Bolling, stop, stop. Please, don't ask no more. Luigi, what are you doing? Let Miss Bolling continue. Sure, sure, let her continue. Sure, I, I'll show you up for good, eh, Luigi? You willing to holler, Uncle? No, Pasquale, is not for that. You make it All right, Mr. Basco, your... I want you to answer the same question. Well, uh, do I uh, really have to? Yes. All right. Uh, Civil War began 1861. The first the president, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln had four children, all his sons. Columbus took possession of America in the name of Queen Isabella. I'm a sorry, Pasquale. <laughs> Miss Spalding. You were wrong. Very wrong. Yes, Miss Spalding. I know. Now, Pasquale, we go to your restaurant and you pay off. Pasquale, I'm sorry. 
All right, all right, I'll pay off. Don't feel sorry for me, all you bird brains. You too, you little pup squeak. As I'm going to show you in the back of my head, I'm smarter than all of you. Huh? Rosa! Rosa, come in! Here I am, Papa. Pasquale, we had a bet. If you won, I was to wash the dishes, and if you lose, you give me your dishwasher. Why are you calling a Rosa? I tell you why, Luigi, because a Rosa is my dishwasher. Oh. Look, all of yours. Mamma won the bet, but I'm going to let the Pasquale keep his dishwasher. <laughs> and now I'm going to think of Pasquale, he's got a little more respect for education. Today, he's going to let the Ross make out the menu for him. And for once, everything is spelled right. Spaghetti, they got to back the H, minestrone, they got a one N instead of a three N's. <laughs> and you don't see cheese spelled with a two Z's. <laughs> Mamma mia, that the menu right now is the most educated thing in a Pasquale's restaurant. <laughs> and as for me, Mamma mia, all this is, is to make me appreciate more and more the privilege America is given to me. The right to study and learn the truth. Dear loving son, Luigi Vasco, the little immigrant. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is not only a refreshing, delicious taste treat, but also serves a useful purpose. In these days of soft foods, our teeth and gums need a lot more exercise than we usually give them. Chewing on a piece of gum gives teeth and gums a good workout. Helps to cleanse the teeth, too. So for chewing enjoyment, plus the chewing action that helps keep your teeth bright and attractive, chew Wrigley Spearmint Gum regularly. Enjoy it often, every day. Get a few packages tonight or tomorrow morning. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Blood Gluster. This is Bob Stevenson speaking. America's strength and leadership in world affairs depends upon continuing teamwork among Americans of different races, creeds, and national backgrounds. Racial and religious antagonism interferes with this indispensable teamwork and thus weakens our nation. Let us guard ourselves and our families against contracting prejudices and passing them on however innocently. Build a strong America. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.